In the late 1800s, the Brooklyn Bridge was just beginning construction. Haircuts were only 12 cents, and people were getting used to the telephone. Yet, in 1898, Ferdinand Porsche built his first electric car. His second was a hybrid. It could travel nearly 40 miles on battery alone. Electric and hybrid cars were actually preferred to steam and combustion vehicles at that time. But it was Henry Ford's affordable Model T that replaced this clean hybrid technology. And since then, the world has seen an increase in its CO2 emissions by nearly 600%. Oops. If every automobile in the United States got reduced its carbon emissions by 50% today, tomorrow, okay, then we, we, we'd be doing much better. Lots of people shoot their mouths off, but nobody's done it. Dennis has been a cab driver in the Washington, D.C. area for nearly 40 years and purchased a Toyota Camry Hybrid in October. Cities like New York and D.C. are just beginning to require their cab drivers to make the switch to hybrid. Cab drivers can log up to 75,000 miles per year in stop and go traffic. This is where this car is mo should be most effective yeah. because, because, because the, at lower speeds, it tends to use the electric motor yeah. more than does the gasoline motor. Dennis's Camry Hybrid will stay in electric mode and run on batteries between 15 and 30 miles per hour until a computer switches the vehicle into combustion mode. The batteries draw their power from braking. Every time Dennis stops to pick someone up, or touches his brake in the busy stop-and-go traffic of Washington, D.C., he is actually charging his battery. There's correlation between miles per, per gallon, and they're 100% they're, they're better, more than 100% improvement with this car as opposed to the Crown Vic I was driving. Compared to his Ford Crown Victoria, Dennis would use 4,217 gallons of gas and only get about 18 miles per gallon. With gas at $3 per gallon, he would spend $12,652 per year just to keep his car running. That would put 80,130 pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. With his Toyota Camry Hybrid, he cuts that amount of gas in half to 2,243 gallons. He also cuts his spending in half to $6,727. He decreases his CO2 output by 40,000 pounds. The concern, and all the drivers' concern is, or most of them, is what's going to happen at 200,000 or 250,000, because that's miles, because that's when you, you could make a really good profit on the car mm -hmm. and, you know, and uh, make a better, you know, therefore a better income. While Dennis may be concerned with battery life, hybrids in San Francisco pass 300,000 miles with no problem. So, every hybrid cab that's on the road cancels out one American CO2 output for that entire year but only a collective effort of cities across the country would make a difference. You're realistic, I'm not a hero or anything like that, I'm just an average guy driving a cab. <laughs>